and please come and help me. Uh, my well, what is going on? Are you scared me? me? What is it? My daddy is beating my mommy. Again? Yes. Again? Yes. After last night on? Yes. He's beating her again? Oh my God, this is too much. Please. Okay, you know what, eh? Okay, be going. I will, I will come. I will follow you now. Let okay. me lock my please shop, eh? Please. Oh God, guys, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on for goodness sake? See, men, eh? You people should be careful. You people should be careful. You cannot because of things that a woman cannot handle. I'll be maltreating her like that. See, let me tell you, this woman now, her mother is my friend. She has been battling infertility. She has been looking for the fruit of the womb. All to know her. She has taken the take table. But yet, pregnancy is not coming. And the least she can get is the support from her husband. But yet, the husband keeps beating her. See, let me tell you, God is the giver of children. Yes, we cannot make ourselves pregnant. It's hard that the men understand it because whatever you give to your woman is what she will bring out. And you do not even give her anything. How is she supposed to bring her anything? Medically, she is okay. Traditionally, is okay. Then what is wrong with that? They told you as a man to go to test. You say you will not go. You are okay. Then why do you want to kill another man's daughter? This is unfair for goodness sake. That is how they killed others. If you keep quiet, they will kill her. Now I'm going now to go and settle fight. All the time, they are calling me to come and settle fight. One day they will use something and break my head. Me that came to come and separate fight. They will they will hit me. My own will just buy from there. Please, guys, help your wife. The least you can do is be a supportive husband. If you say that you are okay, why don't you prove your wife wrong by doing the medical test that is needed to be done and then be clear on your own side? And if the both of you as couple are okay. Then you have to put your trust in God because the Bible says that God's time is the best. I've seen couples who have tried to conceive for 20 years and after all this and all later they now become pregnant. Your own story can be like that. You must not kill another man's daughter before you arrive. Because let me shock you. You can still pursue that woman, bring another one, she will not still get pregnant. All these things, most of them, they are spiritual cases and what you need is prayer. Unity is the best. Agreement is the best. When a husband and wife is in peace, is in love, is in agreement, you will see things work faster. That is why the Bible said that when two or three is gathered in his name, that is what? He is there. That is the power of agreement. Husband and wife, men especially, it is enough. Enough is enough. What you owe your wife is to treat your wife with love, value her and with respect and if you feel like there's somehow she's not giving you what you want you put it to god stop maltreating your fellow woman the other time they had fights i had to go and upset to the fight what is the problem the man locked the shop shop that he opened for the wife i remember those days when we are small eh those days if we give some uh, our friends something maybe it's sweet or chewing gum and they offend us what do we do? We'll collect it back. Give me my tin, Jare. We'll collect it back. But nowadays, adults are doing it. Why are adult men behaving like children, for goodness sake? You said that that wife is your wife, and wife and her husband and wife, they are one. How can you treat her as though she is an outsider? This is your own blood, for goodness sake. The Bible said that the two are one. They are now made one. And you treat your own body. Because if you hurt yourself, you're hurting yourself. What will it profit you if you keep that woman in the house? Since she, he, that guy locked the woman's shop, she has not been doing anything. To even, she even had to borrow money to buy pad. Borrow money from me. If she asks the man for any money, I don't have. Give me money for this. I don't have. It's not that she's asking money to go and buy clothes or whatever. Because that one is not even the case. Simple, simple things. Money to buy as low as pad. Money for medicine when she's sick. I know how many times I've given her money to go and buy drugs. This is not good for goodness sake. And you live in the same roof with the same man that claimed. Tomorrow you say, I love you. It's not nice. It's not good. Man, please. You have to stop this. Stop domestic violence. Stop marriage abuse. If you know that you cannot continue with that woman, what do you have to do? You give a space. It's either you say, let us separate. Let me be on my own or let her be on her own. Now you buy another man's child. If it's easy for you, give birth to your own now. Give birth to your own. Guys, I'm going there now. I'm going there. I just feel that nothing bad has happened because honestly, I don't know what... The... If I get there, God knows I will beat that man. If I get there, what I will do to that man, he will not like it. God, just give me. 
the spirit to control myself because I feel something breaking head. Honestly, this is not good. Eh? My fellow woman suffering in the name of marriage is not nice. Eh? Look at how I'm panting. Look at how I'm panting. Eh? Eh? The one she used to do, daughter. Eh? She picked when she was small. Had to run and come and call me from my shop. Eh? This is not nice. Later, the man will beg. Beg, but tomorrow you will beat again. Next tomorrow he will beat again. Why is it always like this? Why? 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 This is not good. Eh? Honestly, this is not good. I'm going there. I'm going there. And God help them. God help them. And the other time, if you see the wound he gave the woman all over her body, it was too much. Eh? Carry her go hospital. He said he doesn't have money. He have oh. That's wickedness. Eh? Ha! Guys, I'm not happy.